Okay, so we are going to start chapter five. Um, so chapter five, which is called the nth root. and radicals and rational exponents. Okay, this is in your book. You can go to page uh, 239 to read this. So we're going to take a look at example one. So when we say the nth root Okay, we're actually talking about um, a number where we have C is X such that uh, X to the nth will equal C. So the nth root um, can be denoted by a radical symbol, okay? And it has an index of n, where it looks like this. So you have the radical, and n is the root, and c is the number. So this is called a radical. The n is called the root. And c is just the number. Okay. So if we take a look at the cube root of 125, we would say that's x equal to we have a radical of 3 to the 125th. And so <coughs> we can take the cube root of both sides or cube it. So x to the third power. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Okay. That makes it x to the third equal to 125. And so 5 to the third is 125. So how does that make sense? Well, x is equal to, you set the cube root of 125. So that means that's 5 times 5 times 5. And so 5 times 5 is 25, but 25 is, times 5 again is 125. And so I have three of these, and this tells me what I need to get one of the fives out. So that is x equal to 5. And so that kind of leads into the later example. So we have like x to the third minus 125 equal to 0. Uh, we know that 5 works. So if x does equal 5, that gives us the idea that we could minus 5 from both sides. That gives us x minus 5 equal to 0. And so <coughs> we know that x minus 5 is a root. So we could do long division to see that. And so we have x to the third minus 125. And so I'll use x squared. So x times x squared is x to the third. And x times the negative 5 is going to be negative 5x squared. So we'll put parentheses around it to subtract. So this becomes negative, this becomes positive. So now I have 5x squared minus the 125. 
Okay. <coughs> so then I look for the next piece. So that's going to have to be plus 5x. So 5x times x is 5x squared. And 5x times negative 5 is a negative 25x. We put it around it and subtract. So this becomes negative, this becomes positive. So this cancels, but the 25x does not. Okay, now I do one more, which will be 25. So 25 times x is the 25x. The 25 times the negative 5 <coughs> is the negative of 125. Okay. So this is canceling because this is negative. This is plus. That's also. So here is the other part that goes here. So that's the x squared plus 5x plus 25. Okay. And so if I do the discriminant of the x squared plus 5x plus 25. That would make it 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25, which gives me a negative 75. So this is imaginary. And so phi is the only real cube root of 20, 125 because of this fact. We can't break this any further. This is it right here. So 5 is the only piece there. So this is example 1a. So now if you go to the next page, you see uh, what is the real root fourth of 30 of 16. So this was A. So then B is X equal to the fourth root of 16. Okay. And so again, 16 is really 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And since I have four twos, one two can come out. So x is 2. So to prove that, I could take the fourth power to both sides. And so now I get x to the fourth equal to 16, because these cancel each other. Okay, And so now I know that 2 to the fourth is 16. And so now when I look at it further, I know that this works, so I could minus 2 to both sides to get x minus 2. And then I have to figure out what's still left. Okay. So in this case, uh, actually let's back up. That's not right. Okay. So not only is it going to be 2, but it also could be negative 2. Because I could also do um, negative 2 to the fourth power to get positive 16. And so that clarifies that, okay, we could have x to the fourth minus, oops, x to the fourth minus 16. And so that means I could have x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 4. Okay, because we have plus and minus. This one I can break up further. I can go x minus 2 and x plus 2. But the second one I cannot. There's no way to break that up. It'll end up being imaginary. So in this case, x is 2 or negative 2. And so I'd like you to do the triads. They're not as complicated, but to show it in the same way. Okay, so 
put that together and if you have any questions please come to my uh, office hours nobody really does anymore